This is an artistic rendering of so powerful is the light of unity that it can envelop the whole earth. And it's it's very on the nose, right? It's very mm. it's almost a straightforward rendering of that quote from a you know humble whatever artist perspective. Um, and I'm sure it it resonates with many of you. And there's a there's a warmth and humanity that comes from from handmade art, I believe. But let's just play a little game of what if. And what if I told you that this painting represented the same idea? Mm. Mm. Just what if? And how might you see it differently? And what conversations might it spark? For example, what if we were going below skin level? What if we were going deeper? What if this tree actually speaks mm. to like the veins and capillaries that are underneath our skin, that exact same pulsing shared humanity that we all have no matter what time we lived, no matter where we were born, no matter what our experience, this is our life force closer than your life vein God is to us. And isn't it an intriguing dimension of oneness that underneath our skin, we have these veins and capillaries and tendons and how much they look like trees and mm. how much trees look like mm. lightning and how much lightning looks like the veins mm. in a leaf or the wings of a butterfly, or you might even think about the dream of Baha'u'llah with the fishes and the hair. Maybe this is water and this is hair. Well, let's go back to the tree and humanity and how this speaks to our oneness. And maybe these roots, right? The roots of humanity growing up from maybe the hard stones of oppression and injustice and struggle that is our shared humanity, the history of humanity, but it's rising up. And maybe those lines make you think of the tablet of existence. Mm. And maybe it makes you think of sheet music and you have a sense of a melody. And maybe this area where the leaves are, maybe this is like portals to the celestial realm or the mingling of dimensions that comes through prayer and humanity rising towards this celestial luminous orb. And that's just an example. I actually probably should have left it there for just a second longer so you could meditate on that. But just um, how sometimes when the art is non-linear, but we invite some contemplation on the writings that it helps us to see not just more in the art, right? The art is just a door to go deeper into the, the spiritual dimension of our lives, but how, how this could move the conversation of oneness into a totally new direction. And then we could see how to apply that understanding to our lives. And let's just stay here for one more moment. And I'm going to read a section from the Valley of Unity. So we leave the Valley of Knowledge, which was the last station of limitation, and come to the Valley of Unity and drinketh from the cup of oneness and gazeth upon the manifestations of singleness. In this station, he pierceth the veils of plurality and fleeth the realms of the flesh and ascendeth unto the heaven of unity. With the ear of God he heareth, with the eye of God he beholdeth the mysteries of divine creation. Whoa, you guys, this is really intense. 
Thank you.